An important piece to the MAP assessment picture is the use of goal setting with students. Having students understand their RIT scores and helping them set realistic goals is crucial in the successful use of MAP. Episode 2 in this two-part series on goal setting will demonstrate the goal setting process with high school students. You will be watching Niobrara teacher Jennifer Pritchett conference with a ninth grade student. Her process will work with 7th through 12th grade students. The goal sheet Jennifer is using in this video cast can be found on the virtual training library page at the ESU One website. Jennifer will use a five-step process as she helps her students set goals for the next assessment. The steps are share the goal setting process with the student, review previous RIT scores with the student, assist the student in setting goals for RIT scores, identify areas for improvement and areas of strength, Establish strategies for improving performance. This five-step process is used in setting goals for all tested areas. And what I'm going to talk to you about is just going to go over your scores and kind of compare them. And then we're going to talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses in each one of your classes. That way we can um, kind of go over like if you have a class, what you can work on for in that class. If you're working on something in Ms. Kapitschka's or in English, you can concentrate on that, knowing it's your weakness or work a little bit harder. Okay, so first of all, math is the first one on here, so that's what we're going to go over first. In math, in the fall, you had a two, 249, which was 85th percentile, very, very good. Um, in the winter, it was 243, so it went down a little bit. Um, do you have any ideas maybe why it went down? Do you remember taking the test? That was a, kind of a bad time of year with basketball and maybe. everything else going on. I know we took them kind of in February, so there was one thing after another, and the activities were starting to pile up. So that might have been one reason why there was a slight decrease. But you're still above 50th percentile, so I am not concerned whatsoever about how the test went. Okay? It just was probably a bad night's sleep or something. <laughs> um, typically, <clears throat> typically a ninth grader in, that gets a 243, if we take, in the United States, take all the ninth graders and pull them out and then take out all of the ones that got a 243, typically they will have grown by three points. Okay? So let's say the next time we take the test, I want to shoot for a goal of, let's go from a 243, your target rate range, let's go for a 250. That's about Yeah, so um, put a 243, maybe an arrow, and then goal 250. Now, before, let's look and see what some of your strengths and weaknesses were when you tested that way, you know what maybe was kind of the weak point. Your strong point was your data, data analysis and probability. And I think you were probably going over some of that in, in math, but you've also probably gone over that in science a little bit. That would be like um, probability. What is your chances of, out of a bag of 10 marbles, um, of choosing three green ones? And that would be probability. Um, your weakness was algebraic concepts. You know, solve for x, solve for y. That would probably be <laughs> your weakness. So that is something you would have to work on a little bit more. <clears throat> is there anything that you could do to maybe help get back up there a little bit? Because I want to see you go back up. I'm going to start. I'm gonna start worrying. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna start worrying a little bit. If like it's <laughs> it going to fall, it goes down or stays roughly where it is now. I want to see it go back up. Okay. So, is there anything that you can do to help you with that? Review over the algebra. Okay. <laughs> yeah, or even look over. You know, sometimes you're given one of those little cheat cards. Look over those processes. Look over the equations before you start. Do you generally eat a good breakfast in the morning? You sleep seconds every day. Oh, <laughs> Do you um, sleep well at night? Do you go to bed kind of early on those days that you know that you're going to take a big test? I try. Okay. 
<laughs> well, don't stay up all night reviewing your equations. Maybe, <laughs> maybe go to bed a little bit earlier. If we didn't do this, like we'd take the test and we'd have no clue if we were improving or if we're staying the same and what we need to work on. Like, and as she's going through the score, I was like, oh yeah, I do know how to do that. I know I have no clue how to do that. And like, the scores do actually show that, like, what you do know and what you don't. By using a goal setting protocol with MAP, you help to enhance student awareness and provide opportunities for ownership in their academic achievement. For further information regarding NWEA MAP testing, contact your local ESU representative. Thank you.